make a difference, Kenny, for you, knowing you're the number one guy, there's no more competition? Yeah, I think so. I mean, just, you know, being the guy in spring and taking all the reps and, and you know, things like that, just good stuff to build on and, you know, on top of last year. So, yeah, I think uh, it's definitely a different feeling coming in this year versus last. Now that you're, a, you're removed from that, you know, last year when we were counting every rep and seeing who was working with what team, um, it's nice to get some distance from that. You can kind of work on your own thing without the external focusing on every throw in, in camp. I think I'm always focused on every throw. I, I don't. I don't know, man. I, I kind of attack like competition, like it's kind of the same now. You know, I'm just trying to compete every single day against our defense, and everything else really takes care of itself. So I don't think my mindset in terms of competing and going out there and even my best every single day really has changed. Kevin yeah, Dotson earlier said that you go out to dinner with him, and he said that's something. Who did? Kevin Dotson. Yep. He said he appreciates. He thinks the linemen appreciate you showing that camaraderie. Can you just kind of share and what made you do it and how what you take out? I, I'm honestly just you know I think we're all pretty good friends and we have a good time together. Um, they're a great group to be around. Um, so yeah, I just like kind of you know spending time with them. I think we've had some some great and uh, some funny dinners. So I'm looking forward to continuing that. Is that hard to keep up with them? What's your expectation for this offense in general? Uh, it's a, I mean, just just go out there and win. I mean, you can get in expectations of you know numbers and, and right. stuff like that. I just want to go out there and win. So whatever that takes, whatever those numbers look like, that's that's all I'm focused on. How Can you have more identity? freedom this year? Do you think in terms of input in the game plan, changing plays at the line, any any kind of influence maybe you didn't have last year? Yeah, I think I think I already have. I think I was part of you know a, a good process of adding some things this off season and, and you know during spring taking some things away that you know that we didn't like and going back and watching the tape. So I feel like I've been a part of those conversations. So. Um, I think definitely when the game plan starts coming around, I'll have an input as well. How about in terms of identity? You know, what do you imagine for this offense? You guys obviously had big guys who could run the ball, but you know, how much do you imagine opening it up? Yeah, we need we need balance. I think that's the key to, to success in this league. Um, you can't be one dimensional. Um, so I'm excited to see what that looks like and push the ball down the field and, and hand it off to Najee, see what he can do. Um, I know he's been working really hard, so I think we have a, a really good balanced team this year. That's what I want to see. We can talk about the importance. The responsibility that they take in trying to make you guys better. Um, how does this defense strain and challenge you guys to make you better before regular season starts? Yeah, it, it goes both ways. You know, they, they're, they're a top defense and, and we're striving to be a top offense. So I think, you know, going at them every single day um, and pushing them every single day like they do to us, I think it's only going to make us better as a team. Kenny, what do you most look forward to when you guys get here you're here on campus finally? Probably just getting back out there and playing. You know, it's it's been a little bit since spring, and um, you know the competitiveness and the atmosphere out there is a lot of fun to be around. So I'm just looking forward to that. How much, I, you guys, how much have you guys talked about getting better in the red zone, and what do you guys have to do to be better in the red zone? I think consistency. I mean, you know, being able to run the ball, using the play action game, um, getting our guys on one on one opportunities and take advantage of those. I think that's kind of you know a good place to start. So we're just looking for consistency down there. Kenny is an offensive like leader. What do you first couple of days to kind of lay that foundation for this season, this camp? Uh, we're just getting back into the swing of things. I just want to see guys compete and, and go against the defense and, and, and see where we're at. I think we had a really good spring, and I want to see, you know, how we build off of that. Kenny, do you feel like you guys are maybe an overlooked team in the division, you know, when you have the Bengals and Ravens and Browns? There's all different kinds of storylines with those teams. Do you feel like you guys are overlooked? Do you like that? There, there's great there's great teams in, in this division and across the league, and, you know, we got a, we got a tough schedule like we do every year, you know, being in our division. So, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to competing and, and building off of last season. Can you just does exist from year to year, or is it, you know, blow it up and start from zero? No, I think you definitely have familiarity with players and guys that I have reps with, so there's momentum in that sense of it. But, you know, nothing that we did last year has any, you know, effect on, on this season or, or give us any kind of leg up on anybody. But um, I think, you know, being able to play with guys for a year, um, being in a system for a year and having an understanding of how each guy plays, I think there's some kind of momentum there. What about from a vibe standpoint, because the last two months were, were pretty productive for you guys? I mean, is that yeah. a good feeling sort of? Percolate. Well, we saw we saw what we did well. We you know we, we we took a lot of those things that you know from the bye week and we, we fixed them and got them right. Um, so I think that's a good you know point to build off of. And like I said, going in the off season and watching the tape and seeing what we could take away um, that wasn't so you know that didn't work out for us and, and what worked well for us and, and kind of mold that into the season. Yeah, it's been a pretty pretty busy couple of weeks for you personally. Are you able to turn the football brain off completely a little bit and? Uh, or some of the highlights of your travels there? Yeah, man, the, the wedding obviously was great and uh, had former teammates and guys I grew up with and, and, and teammates I have now there and uh, spent five days in, in Puerto Rico and then it was then the, the football brain was turned back on. So it was like a week of being able to enjoy it, um, but with it being so close to the season, I wanted to get back and obviously get ready to go. Is there anything you made sure to bring to training camp this year that maybe you didn't have last year? 
a foot massager. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, my feet kill me in cleats every day, so I, I brought that. That was probably the big piece that I brought this season. Kenny, what was more telling or satisfying to you personally, the one interception in the last eight games or the two game winning drive? Wins. Uh, at, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. So um, that's all I'm focused on, and trying to win every day against our defense and you know see where we're at at the end of camp and then get ready to go. Should this offense Penny, be you? exciting just with the, so many, you got Austin, you got big Darnell Washington, you got Pickens. I mean, you got a variety of so many different weapons. I mean, what, how do you envision just created? Or should it be an exciting thing? Yeah, absolutely. I think it, it all starts with balance, like I've been saying, and getting those guys the ball in space. And like you say, I'm really excited for Cal. We got Tay and George. and. Uh, the tight end room is really strong, top to bottom, and all those guys do different things really well. So we need to highlight their skill, you know, their skill set, and get them the football, um, you know, where they can succeed at. Can what you, have you done to grow that relationship with them? And how do you think it's improved? The tight ends yeah, and, and wide receivers. Yeah, just spe you know, spending time with each other. That's that's the key. Um, you know, throwing, knowing timing, and, and kind of how guys run routes and their body language in and out of breaks. It's all things that comes with time, and I think you know we've been putting that time in, so I'm excited to go out there and you know continue to build on it. Kenny, do you feel like your arm has gotten stronger this off season? And if so, what have you done to kind of work on that in between everything else you do? Yeah, I think I take steps every off season physically. Um, you know, just kind of the, the work I put into it. But I think every season I feel like I put a little bit of you know arm strength. I think I think I did that again this season. So. Um, it's just, you know, training my core and, and different stuff that I do with my coaches that I think, you know, help me out a little bit. Kenny, uh, a lot of your teammates in the offseason spoke glowingly what they saw from you in OTAs, including veterans like Allen Robinson. Was it a goal of yours to gain confidence of, of some of the older guys, or and how do you think that came about? I think it's kind of a, a natural, like, progression. Like I said, you know, when I first got here, obviously it's better to be seen rather than heard. Being a young guy coming in, I want to earn the respect of my teammates. and. Um, once I feel like I have that respect that I can go be a, a more vocal leader and kind of run the offense, which I feel like I did this spring. So I think it's a gradual progression. It's something that, you know, I don't take lightly. I take it very seriously. So, um, you know, I take a lot of pride in the fact that guys, you know, have that, you know, respect, you know, looking at me. So I'm excited to continue to, to build on that and get ready to go. We expect to hear more of you out on the field then, you're saying, yapping, talking. Oh, I mean, yeah, I feel like, I feel like I'm, you know, I do that, you know, naturally. But, yeah, I mean, I'll be, I'll be talking, you know, pretty much you know, all day with the with the offense for sure. When you were asked about just the one interception down the stretch, how much of the offense this year has to be more about, you know, occasionally making mistakes, challenging yourself, challenging the defense more and bouncing back when the interceptions do happen? Yeah, that's going to happen. It's part of the game. And, you know, I, I had a few early on. I feel like I corrected those things. Um, you know, we take calculated shots when we need to and we feel like they're there. So it's continuing to find that, that balance between both and knowing when to do it. You got the wedding ring. How bad would you like to pair it with the Super Bowl? Right? Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> so, you know, I'm, I'm excited to get going. It's, uh, that's, that's always the goal, you know, in the back of your mind. So absolutely.